Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on how to enter weekly time cards for temporary workers in field class. Normally, every MassTech employee is required to enter two time sheets every week. That is, a client time card on field class and a MassTech time card on Oracle. But in this video, we will only cover the client side time sheets, that is, the field class time sheets. Considering the timesheets in field glass are completely project based, hence there could be a different timesheet interface for a different contractor and all you have to do is to identify your instance of timesheet from this video and enter your hours accordingly. So let's get going. To get started with our first version or probably the first instance of timesheet interface in field glass, let's try and fill this particular timesheet which is currently in draft status. So all we have to do is click this particular timesheet ID and further click the edit button to enter the timesheet. Here you would see that the project code is already implemented into this particular candidate's account. And the non-working days, that is the Sunday and Saturday for the week are already in purple. This is because the client has set them as non-working days by default and they expect you to enter your time only during the weekdays. But in case you have worked on Sunday or probably a Saturday, please go ahead and enter your time. So all we have to do is click this particular window and just enter your time. Taken for suppose for Sunday, let's enter zero. For Monday, let's say you work nine hours, seven hours on Tuesday, eight hours on Wednesday. And if for suppose you have worked the same number of eight hours, Field Glass has this particular functionality wherein if you click this particular button, it will automatically copy the previous day values. Like it would just do it automatically you don't have to enter it and let's enter a zero hour again for Saturday so it would automatically count that you had 40 hours and then all you have to do is click on this submit button when you do so it would ask you for a confirmation so go ahead and submit that should be it in a second version of timesheets there could be a possibility wherein you are supporting multiple projects during your work hours. And as a reason, multiple project codes have been associated to your field glass account. So in such a case, you are expected to allocate your hours accordingly for the time you have worked on each of the project. Taken for suppose you have worked four hours each on Monday and this went on until Thursday. But on Friday, you worked for a total of, let's say, five hours each on both the projects. But I would like to draw your attention over here that you need to enter your overtime and straight time hours correctly. Allocate anything that goes above 40 for most of the states except California as an overtime. So the correct entry over here would be four hours as a straight time and one hour each of overtime on both the projects. So when we are done with this, we would see that this is now a correct entry wherein we have a total of 40 hours of straight time and two hours of overtime. So all we got to do after that is scroll down below and it would tell us the same. And that should be it. Go ahead, submit the timesheet and we are done. You could also have a timesheet interface wherein you are still required to enter your project details even when a project code has already been integrated into your field class account. These project details are to be obtained from your supervisor at work and he or she will be able to provide you with three codes that is a project code, a corresponding WAST or application ID to that particular project and an activity that you perform on that project. And when you select all three of them, there would be a final string value that would come in 
and you must then go ahead and enter your time for the week that you have worked on those days. So it's like 39 hours already entered. However, if you're working on multiple projects, there is also an option to add tasks. Herein, select the project and click continue and further go ahead and enter the same three codes that have been given to you for a different project by your supervisor, the corresponding activity, and there you see, now you have a second final string value, like the first one that we were able to create here. And we can go ahead and enter our time. Like suppose you worked only one hour in the week on that second project. And when you scroll down, you would see that 39 hours from project one and one hour from project two have been summarized to a total of 40 hours. So go ahead and submit this timesheet and you should be done. In yet another interface of field class timesheets, you might notice that you are required to enter your time in and time out for the day, including your meal break out and meal break in. So in such an interface, we got to enter a time in, for example, from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. with an hour of break. Let's say it's from 12 p.m. until 1 p.m. So it's eight hours for the day and we can copy the previous day values, let's say until Thursday. However, on Friday, taken for example, you worked from 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. So this would come down to 11 hours. Let's say you had a meal break again from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So this would be like 10 hours on Friday. But you got to take care of one thing over here is that the same number of hours that calculates down from your time in and time out should be entered and classified into either straight time, overtime, or double time. So herein, let's go ahead and enter eight, another eight, and this goes in until Thursday. However, on Friday, you would see that these values are still in red. To make it into a system acceptance value, we got to match this version of hours, that is 10 hours, to the billable section as well. So this should come down as eight hours of straight time and two hours of overtime. And you would notice that there are no further red values. Herein, we would have a summary of 40 hours of straight time, two hours of overtime, and a total of 42 hours. That is it. Go ahead and submit the timesheet, confirm, and we are done. A final version of field glass timesheets could be where you are required to enter your exact number of hours and minutes into the timesheet. Herein, it's a really simple interface wherein you simply add your hours and minutes to the designated columns and you should be done entering your time. Taken for example, on Tuesday, we have entered a 10 hour, on Wednesday, 9 hour and 30 minutes. On Thursday, let's say again, you worked for nine hours and 30 minutes. And on Friday, you worked for an extra one hour with 11 hours and zero minutes. So this would ultimately constitute to your 40 hours in the week. In this particular timesheet, we may see that Monday is a work off or probably a Martin Luther King day. So there could be possibilities wherein you could still be working 40 hours or you could break down these hours into a usual eight hour work day and that should also serve the purpose. For example, this is how it would come down to a 40 hour week on eight hour each day and we are done entering it. And that is all about field class timesheets. Also, 
Once you are done entering your client timesheet, also make sure to enter the same number of regular or overtime hours in Mastex Oracle timesheets and repeat this process every week. Remember, both your timesheets on Oracle and Fieldglass are equally important and should be entered by Friday evening to make sure there are no payment delays. Hoping this was helpful and informative. Thank you for your time and we look forward to your long-term association with Mastic.